Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, April 5th, and it is a potentially beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, we're getting, it's going to be a cloudy day, but the temperature is going to get up to 66. Quite looking forward to that. Yesterday was cloudy, a little damp and chilly, but today looks like it's going to be quite nice. Not, not a bright sunny day, but you can get some yard work done. Been enjoying some haunted bookshop in this uh, Stan Nakowski pipe that was a gift from my dear friend Bona Piper. Thank you, Christian. And this pipe really smokes quite well. Um, only had about I don't know. This is maybe like my 20. I'm somewhere in the 20s with this, and uh, in terms of number of bowls smoked, and it's good. It's, uh, I haven't yet made it my own, you know, I haven't yet uh, gotten gotten it to the point where it's perfect, but it's getting there. Uh, so I hope you're all doing well. Uh, a couple things I wanted to talk about today, and this is not going to be any, any uh, it's going to be a bit rambly, but that's okay. So... I was reading this morning um, while I was waiting for the coffee to brew. I went over to um, Briar Report, briarreport.com, uh, which I, I know you guys all know, uh, briarreport.com. That's the, uh, the site where Phil lists all the current news stories and current goings on and, and all that. And, and the, the top headline was British American Tobacco uh, Creates, Makes Progress with Vaccine to fight coronavirus, some, something like that. Uh, and it linked to a really fascinating story. And uh, I, I'm i a biologist, I'm not a virologist. I know very, very little about uh, infectious disease or, or vaccines or anything. But I do know that one of the real challenges with vaccines is not so much getting the, you know, a tube that, and, and saying this is an effective vaccine. It's making enough of it so that you know, in this case, everybody on the planet could be treated. And what uh, British American Tobacco has done, and what other people have been doing too, this isn't like something novel that they just came up with today, but they've, they've applied it nicely. They've actually taken that vaccine, or, or at least what could potentially be a vaccine, and through biological genetic magic, have created tobacco plants that make that. So what you get now is a tobacco leaf that's full of vaccine. And you can grind that leaf up and, and extract the vaccine from it. Uh, now this is this is done in in a lot of other ways, you know, so this isn't something that's you know, I want you to get the idea that they're making some kind of monster tobacco or something. Uh, people uh, scientists in the past have done this by injecting chicken eggs with with uh, virus particles and you get the virus to, to replicate inside the chicken egg. Uh, for a very long time we've been using bacteria to make proteins of interest for us and make them in, in large quantities. And this goes on all the time and a lot of, a lot of for example, um, uh, there are several biologicals that are used to treat cancer that are grown in bacteria and then isolated from the bacteria. Uh, so this is just another way to make protein in, in large quantities. Oh, another thing that's done, sorry, this is, I, I'm fascinated by this stuff. Uh, you can engineer, I think they've engineered goats to produce the vaccines in their milk. Uh, not just vaccines, but antibodies as well. Um, so anyway, the, it's, it's a real fascinating area of biology. But British American Tobacco has been working on COVID-19, which I think is fantastic. Um, and it would, wouldn't it be incredible if a tobacco company was the folks that actually made the key discovery that saved us from this respiratory disease. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, there'd be some odd justice in that, I think. But also, it's, it's really good news, regardless of who's made the, the breakthrough. Uh, go to briarreport.com, check out that article, read the article. It's well, well worth the read. And uh, it's well balanced, too. I, I think they, they did a nice job with it. Um, and while we're on the topic of Briar Report, uh, you know, I, I'm probably like a lot of you, I, I 
really appreciate BriarReport.com, and I've, I've been uh, a fan of that web page. I check it pretty much every day, and I've been doing that for as long as it's been in existence, at least as far as I've known about its existence. Um, and it's, it's a great resource. <clears throat> but what I have not been as familiar with is Briar Report Magazine, which is at briarreport.org. And I'll link to that down below. I'll link to both of them down below. And I'll link to that story. Now I'll link to both of them. You, you go find the story yourself. Now the reason I'm bringing up Briar Report Magazine is that's more about what's going on in the YouTube pipe community. And I honestly haven't spent a lot of time looking at that. Uh, I went over there today uh, just because I was kind of excited by the... Uh, the story that I just told you about, and I wanted more. And what Phil has done there is really nice. So he's got, you know, there's a link where you can go. With, you know what? I'll put a, I'll put a screenshot in here to show you what I'm talking about. You know, there's a link for Briar, uh, the Briar Report TV Guide, which is a really nice uh, weekly magazine that Phil puts out that you get by email. You can subscribe to it for free. It gives you some insights into goings on in the the YTPC and maybe an interview with someone. And it's it's fun read. Uh, Phil has a great sense of humor, and that shows through in a lot of what's what's in that little magazine. Uh, so uh, it's well worth subscribing to that. Um, I shouldn't call it a magazine periodical anyway. Uh, but it also has listings for things that are on Briar Report TV, BRTV, uh, as well as things that are on YouTube. And he now has a little live calendar feature uh, that's still uh, beta testing, I think. But so far it's looking really good. And what you can do is the calendar shows up on the page, you click on the day you're interested in, and you see everything that's going to be, that's scheduled for that day. So this is a really nice way of keeping up on, on live streams. So, for example, the, I'll use the screenshot here and show you, uh, not this coming Saturday, but the following Saturday, uh, which is the uh, next Cane Rod Pipes live stream, where we're going to be uh, having a conversation with the Artful Codger. And you can see that you can uh, find that here on the, the calendar, which is quite nice. And uh, you also see that there's there's uh, Yardism has a live stream schedule prior to that. This is a really neat uh, feature. I mean, if you're just wondering what's going on, if you if you if you want to watch a live stream and you don't know what's available, go to briarreport.org and and check out the calendar. Uh, with all the issues we've been having with the YouTube notifications and all, it's just nice to have a way to double check um, or maybe just first check. Now, on that topic, this coming um, Friday, which will be April 10th, there will not be a Cane Rod Pipes live stream. The reason for that is it's Good Friday. I'm a Roman Catholic. I observe Good Friday, and uh, I hope you all uh, are spending time with your family uh, as we get into the Easter holiday the, that, the following Sunday. I will be back on Friday, April 17th. Uh, this will be 8 o'clock Friday, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern, and we will be having a conversation with the Artful Codger, and I'm really looking forward to that interview. I think it'll be a great time for all. And the next day, April 18th, I'll be having my monthly uh, Saturday afternoon live stream giveaway, and I'm scheduling that for 4 p.m. on uh, April 18th. So you'll see what the prize is going to be in the coming week or so I'll put up uh, you know notification about that and everything but it's a great time um, it'll it'll be a uh, it'll probably be a pipe this time uh, maybe a pipe and some tobacco all you have to do is be subscribed and be able to type an answer into the comment section and you have a chance to win so stop by on April 18th at 4 p.m. One more thing I nearly forgot. Uh, I wanted to make sure to shout out my friend uh, Kitty, uh, who you probably know as Kitty Max Boone. Uh, if you make videos, you know Kitty. Uh, Kitty is a very frequent commenter. Uh, really in enjoyed uh, comments over the years, and 
Kitty started making videos, gosh, it seems like it was just a couple weeks ago, and has already reached the 100 subscriber milestone, and uh, has decided to have a giveaway. So I wanted to let you all know about that. It's a great giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, and uh, Kitty is giving away a pipe, and I'll, I'll link to the video where this is announced. And all you have to do is leave a comment saying why you would like that pipe. Um, and somebody's going to win a pipe out of that. So go check out Kitty Max Boone. Uh, it's it's a great channel. It's the kind of thing I like to just put on and, and, and enjoy a pipe. And, and some of the videos are long enough that you can actually have a, a full pipe and just, just listen and enjoy uh, the company. So I think you'll, you'll like the channel. So get on over there. Uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on the video and maybe you'll win a pipe. Ah, so beyond that, I'm continuing to live under the, um, I don't know what to call it. You know, lockdown's not the right word because we are allowed to go out, so we're not locked down. Quarantine's not the right word because I'm not sick. Uh, Shelter in place sounds like I'm afraid of something, and I'm not. Um, I don't know, staying home. <laughs> so I'm continuing to stay home, uh, work from home. Uh, it's it's fine. You know, my wife and I are uh, spending more time. We're cooking together. We're getting some projects done around the house that we've been wanting to do. I'm planning some garden boxes that uh, might get to begin some work on some of the landscaping type stuff I want to do later today. Uh, not sure about that because I don't know if I'm really feeling up to, not up to, but I don't know if that's what I want to do on my Sunday, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, so, you know, all in all, and work is okay. Uh, it's it's a little different sitting here, and, and I actually am literally sitting where I am right now when I'm working, <laughs> so I spend eight hours a day sitting here. Uh, it's comfortable. It's well lit. I, uh, I put my laptop up, and there's my... This is my, right down here is my workbench. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm good to go, so. And of course, as you know, the, um, the pipe bench is right behind you. So if I ever uh, get a little bored with work or just need a break, I can walk on over there and do a little bit of pipe work. Um, and I do that much less than I thought I was going to, but yeah. So, I hope you're finding things to keep that normality in your life. It's, it's really important. Um, you know, what we do here on YouTube is one way to do that. We continue to make videos, we continue to comment. We have live streams where we can get together socially, even if we're not allowed to, or not capable of getting together socially uh, in other aspects of our lives. But I find myself appreciating things that are more routine, more, um, you know, things that probably just passed by. Like, I every Saturday night, I've talked about this before, and if you know Brad, uh, Pipes and Kayaks, he, he's a big fan of it as well. Uh, every Saturday night, I really enjoy on MeTV the Sven uh classic uh, monster movies. Last night was, uh, oh, I'm going to get this wrong. I think it was the mummy's hand. It was one of the, the one of the Universal um, Lon Chaney Jr. mummy movies. I'm, I'm pretty certain it was the mummy's hand. I get I get the titles confused on those. And hmm, I get to the bottom of this. Or, uh, I I really enjoyed that, and I look forward to it every Saturday. I always have, but now it just seems somehow more important because it's just a little bit of normality back in the day. Back in the week, um, I've been reading more. I've been listening to music more. Um, I've been watching YouTube more. Things that I pretty much took for granted and sometimes, frankly, just got moved to the back burner and I didn't do. I, I haven't listened to a lot of music for, for quite a while. And I love music, so... was talking with um, Wheeled Piper 2 about um, 
this Thelonious Monk John Coltrane album that I could not think of the name of during the last live stream, and it it's, turns out to be Thelonious Monk and John Coltrane uh, live at Carnegie Hall. Uh, I think that's right. I hope that's right. Uh, anyway, if, if you Google Thelonious Monk and John Coltrane live, you'll find the album. It's a great album, and uh, I hadn't I have not heard that album in quite a while, and we were... We, we uh, traded some emails about it, and last night I put it on while I was uh, doing some reading, and it was just, it was a wonderful evening. Uh, and then I fell quickly asleep, because I was very tired. <laughs> but at least for a good 20 minutes, I was able to enjoy the music. So I have to wonder if this isn't taking us back to a not that long ago simpler time. You know, we, the world has changed dramatically in just five years. And here we are, suddenly um, isolated and, and, and maybe a little bit afraid. And the, the kind of frantic, fast-paced world that we're used to keeping us occupied has disappeared. And we... We might be news junkies, but who wants to watch the news right now? And television is a wasteland. Uh, I don't think a lot of us are big TV fans. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I, I don't think a lot of us are. Uh, you know, we, we all have a show, like I just talked about the Spengoolie show. Uh, I'm sure that there's things that you guys watch, uh, you know, mainstream TV, but you're not the type of person that has the lineup every night, and, and that's what you, you do. It just doesn't really fit with the kind of uh, lifestyle we're, we're used to. And if you do, that's fine too. I'm not, I'm not trying to pass judgment. I'm just saying that in general that's not going to be something that distracts us from this. So we have to fall back on those things that we used to do just maybe just five years ago. It's interesting to think about. So yesterday I uh, took advantage of some time in terms of shop update, uh, and I am about halfway through my next video project. So you will be seeing a shop video soon. Um, I'm really glad that I'm finally getting this project done, and uh, it's for a, a dear friend of mine who's been very, very patient, and uh, I don't want to give away much more than that. But you're going to enjoy this one. It's very, very unique. So with that, I think I will let you guys get on with your Sunday. I will get on with my video project. I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday and, and a fantastic week ahead. Keep seeing, guys. Keep positive. And uh, we're... The light is slowly appearing at the end of the tunnel. So you all take care, and until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.